for those little locks. One okay. here and one downstairs. Perfect. One. Oh, thank you so much. All right. Okay. Thank you, Let me grab your number just because. Yeah, uh, Michael, was, he's on a flight right now, but he was going to text me your number. Is that 118 now? Yep. All right, cool. You guys ready? You should have caught your passport. What? Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> um, on the way over here, got pulled over. I was going really fast getting onto the highway. I was like on the feeder, got on like really, really fast. And then I guess a cop was following me. And as I came off, because I just came on and I was on for one exit and I got off, um, the speed limit getting off is 50. And I was going like 62. He clocked me, but he didn't clock me getting on and on the highway. He only clocked me getting off. So he gave me a warning. But I showed him my passport because I lost my wallet, so I don't have my license. He was like, and he was pretty pissed about it. Awkward. <laughs> is that your thumbnail? No, it's just do a thumbnail when we get dropped. That's it. Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> We're about to stop by Best Buy. He has a GoPro Hero 5 came out today, and I'm gonna pick one up. Two, two Hero 5s. You want one or no? Yeah, two, two Hero 5s. Alright, cool. I'll go grab them. Cool. And also, I don't, I, I've never had a GoPro. Yeah. Um, I really just need a suction for the car. Okay. Uh, is it the same? How's it, how's it going to work? Just setting the case? Just, just, yeah, yeah. Cool. it's right here. Yeah, suction cup mount should be over here. It's the exact same one. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, the mount didn't change itself. It's just uh, the actual camera itself did. It's a suction? Yeah. Uh -huh. That poor else? bird, man. Right? He probably just stuck it on his beak and... Well, they rescue gonna... and then they threw it on his beak. <laughs> they were like, you know what? We can get a shot. <laughs> Go ahead. Got the GoPro. Yeah, I've been on manual focus this whole time. I mean, Suction cup, Hero 5, card. We're about to go eat some lunch, but before we go, I'm uh, gonna let the GoPros charge up. I may charge up some of my batteries for this camera, and yeah, it's a game plan, but I guess I'll do a quick unboxing of this for you guys. You know they say, like, be sure you keep the box? Don't go to the box. Paper. This thing. Battery. HDMI. Another. Are well, you just mount one of these? Yeah, mounts just stick on. Like those little clips, push them. This is GoPro 5. In all of its glory. Gotta figure it out and charge it. Quick update, went to go grab some lunch. We went to Raising Cane's, which I never ever have. It had some chicken tenders. And now we're gonna essentially kill some time because Joe's GoPro wasn't charging. I'm gonna take Charlie to his car and then we're gonna be back here in like 30 minutes or so and then go for a drive. You guys are wondering, the Hello Kitty key is my Jimmy key. Good morning, Shali. <laughs> okay, so I apologize for I kind of like stopped vlogging <laughs> yesterday, but today. It's Monday, it's a fresh start to the week. I've honestly taken three days off from the gym, and so 
I feel like I kind of needed that, and now I'm just ready to kill it this week. I couldn't sleep too well last night, and I was up really early, and so instead of trying to go, I kept trying to go back to bed, I like put the TV on, I watched some YouTube videos, and there was like no going back to sleep. And so I got up, and I'm here at the gym now, about to hit a back and bicep workout. The gym opens in like an hour or so, it opens at seven, and so we're gonna get started. But first I'm gonna change my shirt. <coughs> Uh, to one of these new samples. Let me see if I can find them. Becca's so good at putting things away that I just can't find them ever. I'm just gonna wear the new athlete red t-shirt sample performance shirt coming out next month, but it's all good. <laughs> Let's get to this workout. All right, what's going on, these family? It has actually been a while since I've done a commentary, but today I wanna to take you through this workout, just give you an update on things that have been going on and walk you through it. So this morning I woke up at like 4.30 out of nowhere and I couldn't go back to sleep. I got on my phone, I was watching YouTube videos, I feel like my brain was already working, so I decided just to get up, get to the gym, and just knock it out. You know, it was Monday, might as well get a good start to the week, an early start. And so I headed over there and it was a back and bicep day. Now, <coughs> geez, I saw like a cough, I had a cough for freaking five or six weeks now. But if I work out early in the morning, fasted like I did today with no food in my system, I tend to see my strength is not where it normally is versus you know working out later in the day, maybe like 5 p.m., 6 p.m. because I don't have any food in me. Maybe I'm just not, my muscle, I'm not firing how I should be. But today I actually did pretty well. I had a very good workout, a really good pump, and I felt like my strength didn't really take a hit. So I started the workout out with five sets of pull-ups, uh, anywhere from eight to 10 reps with my body weight. And my second movement of the day was a seated cable row. This was my warm-up set, and then I bumped the weight up uh, for the following three sets. So I did five sets of pull-ups and essentially four sets of everything else that you're gonna see throughout this workout. But uh, I wanna talk about the thumbnail really quickly regarding the car. <laughs> I know I didn't say too much about it, but I did decide to pick up the 458. Now I found, I looked for like weeks and weeks and weeks after driving that one um, with, when TJ Hunt came, and I found a 2011 from Ferrari, still under warranty, uh, had like 7,500 miles when I got it. Uh, 7,500 miles, so it was a good deal, it was used, it's already taken a big depreciation. And I just I love it. It's freaking amazing. Now, with that said, I did uh, keep the range because I just I already own the range, and I wasn't getting a good enough offer to sell the range, especially if I was going to give up like my daily driver. Um, so, <coughs> so I do have both cars now, and I've been I think I've actually put like 500 miles on that Ferrari in like a week. Um, so I'm really really enjoying it. But yeah, that was that's that and. Uh, what else is going on? Let's see. I, I'm weighing in currently at 178 to 179. Uh, fairly light. I'm only about 11 pounds over stage weight, which is pretty good. And I feel like the past few weeks, I haven't been in this, you know, bulk mode mentality. I haven't been in like this go all out and just put on a bunch of weight and strength because I really, I feel like enough time has passed since my show that I want to commit myself to an actual lean gain, which, you know, I feel like everybody says they want to do lean gains, but I, like I said, enough time has passed to where I've maintained under 180. <clears throat> and I think I actually want to go down a few more pounds, uh, maybe to about 175. So I'm, you know, eight pounds over stage and then go into my lean gain nice and slow. And I feel like I have a really good control over my eating right now. I feel like I'm not binging, I don't crave anything. Um, so I think that in a few weeks, I haven't been tracking macros, but I've been you know, intu intuitively eating and doing really well at maintaining my weight. So I'm gonna dig a little bit more, drop a few more pounds. I haven't even been doing any cardio or anything recently. Uh, maybe I'll add a few sessions this week and then I will start that, uh, you know, actually tracking and increasing the weight nice and slow. So um, I think that this will be now I think this will be the first year that I can take that lean gaining approach instead of just putting on 25 pounds of unnecessary weight, you know, because you can only, during a bulking phase, you can only put on X amount of muscle. Now you can put on X amount of muscle, whether you put on, you know, three to 5% body fat, you know, excess of three to 5%, or if you put on an extra 10%. And so I really just want to keep it minimal. Uh, I like how I feel. I like how I look when I'm not 
you know, pushed my, when I'm not pushing my bulk that, that hard. And, uh, yeah, I just feel better overall. And that's also what I would recommend to you guys is have control over eating. You know, if you're just like binging and eating seven, you know, 5,000 calories a day when you only need 3,500 to gain, you know, eventually that's just going to become an excess amount of body fat, which isn't necessary. And it's just going to take longer to cut off when you decide to cut. Uh, and so, yeah, today I did this movement, uh, biceps, or I haven't talked about the workout too much that I don't do often, but I used to do this a lot and I love it. I really want to incorporate it more. Uh, I just put the cables pretty much at eye level and just like this, bring the, bring my hands, my pinky to my ear, squeeze my biceps. And it's one of my favorite, um, like accessory movements. I guess everything's like biceps is kind of like an accessory muscle, I guess, technically speaking, but it's one of my favorite bicep movements to throw in. So I'm going to start doing that more. Uh, here's another variation of a row that I've been doing a lot with the cable. And that's really going to conclude this commentary, guys. Hopefully you stick around for the rest of the video. I want to thank you all for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, please. And I'll talk to you all soon. Workout complete. It feels incredible outside right now. We got a busy day ahead. So you know, I'm gonna take you with me. All right, so now let me turn that AC off. <laughs> it's now. a.m. and I'm actually here outside of Ferrari Houston because this little light right there keeps coming on uh, it came on when I took the car home and I came immediately back when I signed the papers and bought it and everything and they they had the tech look at it he reset like the program and he just said drive it normal for like one to two days and then it'll go back to normal and it'll be fine but for the last three days this has been coming up pretty much every time I drive and it pretty much stops me from essentially going after or past about 4,000 reps and uh, it it's just has to get checked out so I'm gonna drop the car off here and I'm gonna see maybe I have to Uber back to Sugarland or maybe I can get a ride Maybe they can let me borrow a car <coughs> for the day uh, while they look into this issue. And also, they need to replace the seatbelt because it, like, it's not really working. Safety. Goodbye. I am getting a ride from Joe, the guy that actually sold me the car. Hey, uh, what's your gate code? Uh, pound. No, one more time. Pound. Pound. It's not working. No, I'm talking about your, your garage code. Oh. Well, that's not a gate, dude. All right, whatever. What is it? Uh, what did they go to my garage for? I need a water. Thirsty. Uh, got it. Oh, shit. All right, got it. All right, bye. Hey, um, thanks for finding me tonight. I got these numbers from Google, so I'll go over them with you. Cool. Sounds good. Shit, I thought the alarm was going to go off. <laughs> I need a water. I need to take a piss. Oh, yes. Snacks. You guys know Joe doesn't even take protein or anything? Like, I'm going to make him start getting on his game. Figured I could take a second and show you guys the outfit of the day. Today I have on uh, jeans from Top Man. These are the, what are they called? They're the skinny, stretch skinny jean from Top Man. That's like the cut. Uh, where a size 30 on these, or like a slight gray color. I've got the black Alphalete fishtail on, right here. Straight cut, lengthened on the back. Nice and tight on the sleeves. Not too scoopy of a neck, but not too tight as well. Nice and relaxed. And I've got the turtle doves on right there. She got some fun stuff in the mail. I need your help, man. I got four boxes. New material, slightly larger fit, performance shirts. Tan with a very, it's like, it looks black, but it's a very, very dark brown. We've got our olive with black. Volt with uh, the small badge logo. This really, really nice mint sea foam color. And this, it's like a bright red with the black 
printing. And we also have a bunch more coming. This is all the samples that came in today. And I really want to show you guys the joggers. Let's, let's get the clip out here. <coughs> so first off, this is like the most oddball color that we have uh, launching. And I only got this pair today, but we have black, navy, sorry, for most, most, like our most volume to the lowest volume. It goes black, charcoal, navy, olive, and then burgundy. So burgundy, we have like super limited units, but this is gonna be the paneling and the style of the jogger. So you guys can see the detailing here. This is a completely different manufacturer than the last, uh, last jogger. New material, new paneling. So you guys can see, can you see the panel from the side? Is that good light? It's a little dark. It's a little here, let me turn this way. We have this really unique shape. Now this was designed to actually go with the quad, the, with the quad swoop to come up like this, come down the leg, down the hamstring. And we went with, uh, we changed our cuff from being our standard size to actually shortening it up. And we added our, so you have a cuff, we implemented a zipper as well. So you have the option of doing zipper or cuff. And over here we added a reflective strip on this one side on the right hand side. Again, the full zipper and the cuff. And we can seal the pockets. I didn't like how on the last joggers, the, the zipper, uh, you could kind of tell that it was like a different color than the jogger. And so here we just concealed everything. And the only branding, the only logo we have on this is embroidery right at the top. So you can see that. Yeah. Strings, extremely happy with these. Major improvement. Also got these four wristbands. Let me show you. Oh. We got this red, white with black, sea foam, like teal, green color, and then a black with white. So we're gonna throw these in orders this week, like one or two of them uh, for free in every order. And then we'll probably put them up for like a buck or two um, later on. These are, they cost us a decent amount because they're not the normal like half inch, they're actually three quarter inch, so a little bit thicker, a little more durable, but cool little array of colors here. And honestly guys, that's gonna conclude this video. I feel like I have a lot of footage. I'm getting that vibe right now that I have a lot of footage for this video. I don't wanna make it too long, so I'm gonna end it here, but I'm gonna continue vlogging all day, of course, and that'll be in the next one. So thank y'all for watching. See ya. We get out of the car, best buy. That looks better than this. I'm just gonna show it right now. No, wait, 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 wait. This is where I got the ticket. Hold up, no, turn the camera. <laughs> what? This is better. Show you driving it from like the steering wheel perspective and shit, and that's the first clip out of this house. Don't say shit about it, and when you get out of it at Best Buy, actually show it. But don't talk about it. Just show the engine noise, like show the car. It's like anticipation. Because then people are like, what the fuck is this? And then you explain it. So don't it's do better. it now. Do it when we get to Best Buy. Right now, just film like you driving it. Get Charlie to film like the steering wheel and shit. All right. Then cut from upstairs to that, and then from that into you talking about it at Best Buy. I'll probably put this clip in the video. So they Put still it at the end, know what's going on. Just, okay, that works too. All right.